have a 30 by 40.5 inch paper here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fold the paper into two like this. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it again into two, just like this. Now for this falling handkerchief flare, you can do it with the 360 degree flare method. You can do it with the 720. You can do it with the 1440. The difference between all of them will be that for the 360 degree flare, you're going to have four pointed parts. For the 720 degree flare, you are going to have eight pointed parts. And for the 1440 degree flare, you are going to have 16 pointed parts. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get my waist measurement. I'll be going with a waist measurement of 30 inches, and then I'll just add two inches for seam allowance, zipper allowance, any of those, any of those things. If I need them, if I don't need them, it can be trimmed off. Okay, so my waist measurement is 30. I'm going to add two inches to that, making that 32. So what we're going to do to get the radius of this part so that we can get, you know, our waist measurement is divide that 32 now, which is 30 plus 2 inches allowance, 32 divided by 6.28. And that will give me 5.09, approximately 5.1. So what I'm going to do right now is to come to this uh, pointed part of the pattern paper. I have an open end here and I have a closed point here. So I'm going to mark that 5.1 inches. Okay, so I come right here. I don't have 5.1, I have 5.125 on my tape row. So I'll be going with 5.125 all around like this while moving the tape roll around this point, okay? So I just keep going like that till I get to the end like so. So after I'm done marking, I'll go on to join the points like this. So whatever I have here, if I should multiply it by four now, I'll be getting that 32 inches or more. What I have left here from this part is 15 inches. And what I have left here from this part is 10 inches, about 10. 10.25 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut this um, mark that I've made, is to cut it out like this. So I'm going to have like a circle by the time I'm done cutting. So guys, I have 10.25 here, okay? And I have 15 point, I have 15 inches here. What I'm going to do is reduce this folded part till it gets to this length you know, that I have here. So I'm going to come here and mark that 10.25 here. And then what I'm going to do is, whatever I removed from here, for me, that was 5.1, uh, right? So I'll come right at this open end of the paper. I will mark that 5.1, okay? And then I will mark this 10.25 um, inches in addition to that. So I'll come right here, I mark 10.25 inches like so. So can you see what I'm doing? And then I join the points with a straight line like this. And then what I'm going to do is to cut this part out. So this is going to be the shorter side of your handkerchief flare. This pointed parts right here is going to be the longer part of your handkerchief flare. So you need to make this part here and this part here equal, okay? What I mean by that is, what I mean is that where you started marking the radius and where you ended it, the two of them, these two parts here, have to be exactly the same uh, length, okay? In order for you to get this handkerchief flare right. Do you understand? This pointed part right here will be the longest part and it is the part that will form your center front, your center back, as well as your um, side seam area. Do you understand? So what we're going to do now is to go ahead and open it up. And by the time we open it up, it is going to look like this. Okay. So what you need to do now is to match the pointed edges across from each other. So it's not going to be at the side like this. So I'm going to grab this one that is on top. I'm going to come to this side and grab this one that is under. Okay, so can you see my hands? 
and then what I'm going to do is to place them on top of each other like this. So by the time you do this, you're going to have something like this. Okay, so I just want to flatten out the paper so you guys can see what I am talking about. You're going to have something like this on this side. I'll go ahead and spread this side open as well. So you have something like this on this side. So your handkerchief layer will be looking like this, like a huge triangle that a circle was, a semicircle was cut out from. So it's going to look like this. So this part right here, this part right here where the triangles rest on each other will be my center front where they are facing each other like this. This part is going to be the first side seam. This part is going to be the second side seam. The one facing, the one touching the front will be the back. So all you need to do is to divide it into two and, you know, make adjustments where necessary, you know, for the circumference of your skirt, seam allowances and all. Okay. So now that we have this now, this is just it, guys. So by the time you cut it on fabric and, you know, sew everything up together, the flare is going to be coming down like this, everything pointed downwards. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, Kindly give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!